Thanks, Patty, and what an honor to be going across Indiana on Boomer TV. I'm joined by Mark Newman today from Visit Indiana, Executive Director of Visit Indiana. And Mark, uh, we are in a very distinctive place. Where are we? We're here in Columbus. Yeah. And what and, and what makes us so special? Oh, this is an, an architectural gem. This is the Miller House and Garden. It was a private home of Erwin Miller, the uh, former CEO of Cummins. Uh, Cummins, exactly. And it is one of a number of wonderful architectural assets here in the city of Columbus. This is regarded as one of the most important architectural destinations in the United States, Columbus, Indiana. Architect Aero Saarinen created big, bold designs like the TWA terminal at JFK Airport and the St. Louis Arch. But for the Miller House in Columbus, he turned his vision to home and hearth. Uh, 1957, the year it was completed, there are only two homes like this in all of the United States. And you can see all of the wonderful finishes that are in, and the exterior and the gardens, they're representative of that mid-modern, uh, mid-century modern architecture that is becoming so popular again, people are looking to replicate uh, in their own homes and the styles that they're incorporating there. Columbus essentially began with a log cabin on a small hill overlooking White River. But today, the most notable architecture is all Boomer. And really the entire town of uh, Columbus is a boomer because there is mid-century modern, modern architecture throughout this community. In fact, among the different assets that they have here are seven uh, landmarks that are part of the National Historic uh, Registry of Landmarks. And then you combine that with the wonderful restaurants, the, the microbreweries, the 4th Street District, this becomes a great destination in Indiana. After enjoying the classically modern design of its architecture, take a moment to enjoy the classic taste of some old-timey homemade favorites. This is a great example of a classic ice cream parlor. This goes back to the early part of the 1900s, late 1800s, and um, a lot of the finishes in here are among the originals. The soda fountain, where your soda was made, um, was restored, and um, just a beautiful piece of art in and of itself. Okay, Mark, you're, you're, the, you're the expert here, and I want to get your, your own um, Hoosier take on why exactly it is that we all scream for ice cream. Oh, that's an easy one. I Indiana is the second largest producer of ice cream in the entire United States. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's all part of who we are. The things you don't know about Indiana. Yeah. We're going to learn them here on Boomer TV. Mark, it looks like you're enjoying that Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> just, by, just a little bit. Well, thanks so much for taking us uh, through Columbus, showing us a few of its, its wonderful sights and its delicious taste. I know you have some wonderful places planned to take us here. So thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm Mike Atwood for Boomer TV.